I'm gonna show you an amazing way to manage your code snippets. And if what you see on screen doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. I have now got a snippet switchboard that I've created. It's a code snippet that allows you to manage your code snippets in a fancy interface. And there's so much this can do. What you wanna do is go and download or click the link in the video description. And that will then give you access to a super snippets bundle. I think there's about 24 snippets there. What you wanna do is download it, unzip it, then you wanna install the code snippets plugin that you can get from the WordPress repository for free. Then go over to snippets, go and click import, click choose files. That will then add a load of snippets. Now, none of them will be activated, so you have full on control. But what you wanna do is somewhere near the bottom or somewhere inside of that list, you will find snippet switchboard. Go and activate that. And then when you go over to your dashboard, you're gonna have this wonderful interface. Now, the only snippet I've got activated is this one over here, and I've just hidden my face for a moment that you can see, and you can see it's got a green toggle. But what if I wanna activate other snippets? So I'm gonna go and activate some of these that are at the top over here. I'm just gonna pick them randomly. And if I was to now go back into snippets, you're gonna see that they are activated. Well, I'm just gonna prove to you by deactivating these two over here, which are the color contrast and the WebP image converter, also known as Pix Refiner. If I go back to my dashboard, can you see that they are both now deactivated? So yeah, I know this is kind of duplicating something you could already do within the snippets when you go to it, but now on your WordPress admin dashboard, you can do it on the fly and it gets even better. I've got some on here that come preloaded with code snippets that I'm never going to use. Like I'm going to hide, watch what happens. I'm going to hide that one. I'm going to get rid of the disable admin bar. I'm going to get rid of the current year and I'm going to get rid of make upload file names lowercase as well. Now you may be wondering, what have you just done? You've hidden them. If I go back over to snippets, they're still there. They're not deleted. All I've done is hide them from the switchboard on your front end WordPress admin dashboard. And if I go back over here, can you see it says show hidden for? I click that and they will now reappear. And if I wanna put it back again, you just like click the eyeball and it's now over there. So you can hide what you see. It doesn't delete it. You still gotta go into snippets to do that. But it just means that if you've got like 30 snippets and you only wanna show relevant ones that are activated or are present for you, your business or your client, you can do that. And this is a great way of showing clients how much extra work you've done to make sure their website is optimized in terms of performance, image management, or just web accessibility as well. So at any time, I can start activating all of these. And here's what's also really cool. If I click, say, this pencil over here, it's going to take me to the snippet. Again, I know you could go to snippets and click edit. But from the WordPress dashboard, you click it and you go straight in to edit it. Now then, I'm just going to make another point. If I scroll down for this particular snippet, can you see over here, it's got a tag. That's a YouTube video link. So I've done videos for a lot of code snippets and some people go, I got the code, but I don't know where the video is and I'm a little bit confused. Now, very easily from that dashboard, you're going to see this link. Whatever you add in the tag will appear. So over here, for the enable ACF fields in the text editor, we've got a video link. Let's go back over to the dashboard. There it is, enable ACF fields. And I'm now gonna go to the link also known as the tags. I click it and there's the link. I click that and that's gonna take me to the video. And is it really easy to add more than one link? Absolutely. Look at the color contrast one. When I click it, I actually went and added in a YouTube video link. And I also added in a link to my website. So if you got the code from someone's blog, or maybe even you did it in chat GPT and then you shared it and you want to be able to access it later on or wherever, or maybe it was from someone else or maybe another YouTube video, you can just stick them in your tags so that if you fail to understand, well, I, I, I kind of remember what this does, but I'm a little bit unsure, just click it. The video is there. This is a super simple way of understanding what snippets you got activated. And like I said, I'm not trying to remove what you already have here in snippets. But if I go here and I've got in total 27 and I've only got say uh, three that are active, I know you could click that to see your active ones. But if I wanna understand what I have got or what I haven't activated, you, you're scrolling down quite a bit, right? And scrolling up as well. You click the dashboard and it's all there for you. What do you think? The snippet switchboard is here for you to use. It's a snippet that helps you understand and manage your snippets better. 
using code SNIPPET. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. Don't forget to sign up for our courses and guides. Links are in the video description. And sign up for our YouTube channel to get access to exclusive videos. Hey, like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.